Hi, it's Billy here from Hippie Mama Artisan Soap. Today I'm making a lemon soap and I'm going to use lemon juice um, as part replacement for the water. I'm still going to put milk in the soap, of course. So I've got all these um, fresh lemons off our tree. And I'm just going to weigh up quite big lemons. So I'm after about 500 grams of lemon juice for this recipe. And by the looks of it, I'm going to be here juicing for a little while. Hello, so I'm back again. <clears throat> I've got my lemon juice here, which I've added my tuss of silk to. It's what you can see floating in there. And I'm going to add my lye to the lemon juice. I'm not sure, I think it's going to go bright orange, but I guess we will see. And it is. That's an awesome colour. Can you see how hot it's getting? It doesn't normally steam like this. Whoa, that's amazing. I did put the lemon juice in the fridge just because I um, wasn't ready to add the lye just yet, not, not for any other reason. The tuss is not dissolving as quickly as it normally would either. I'm just going to pause for a minute while I keep stirring this. Okay, so I've been stirring this for a few more minutes. The tuss of silk certainly hasn't dissolved as well as it does when you just mix your lye and your water together. But I'm not overly concerned, I'll just, um, I strain it anyway before I use it. The lemon juice and lye solution has gone an amazing deep um, orangey red colour. I don't know how much of that it's going to retain um, in the finished soap or whether it will just um, go to a creamy colour. So I'm going to put this aside and um, leave it to cool down to room temperature and then we'll get busy making the soap. Okay so I'm back my lye juice has cooled down to room temperature. Um, I was tossing up whether or not to add um, fresh lemon zest to the soap and I have decided that I will. 
Um, I didn't want to go with dried because I thought that might be a little bit too scratchy. So I've just got the zest from about, I think there was about four lemons here. I've just grated that. With that. So fresh. And it smells so gorgeous. I know the, the scent from that's not going to come out in the finished soap. So what I'm going to do, I've got here my um, tallow, my coconut oil and my shea butter. And I'm going to melt that down on the stove and I'm going to put my zest in with that. So I'll just go and melt that down on the stove and I'll be right back. Uh, of my uh, 836 grams of liquid for this recipe, I've done 536 grams of lemon juice with my lye water. I'm also going to um, use a couple of good tablespoons of um, natural Greek yogurt. So I'm just going to put that in here. A couple of generous tablespoons. Let's just bring it up to 100. And... 200 grams of this is our own fresh organic cow's milk which I put into all the soap that I make so we'll bring that up to uh, 300 total and that'll be all the liquids for this soap Uh, my oils are melting, so we're almost ready to get going. I'll just put that aside for a minute. Um, in this one, these are my essential oils. Um, I'm using a blend of lemon. Uh, Mei Chang. and bergamot uh, I know that lemon essential oil really doesn't stick well in soap so um, bergamot is kind of a lemony smell and uh, may chang as well a little bit but this hopefully is what's going to help anchor the scent into my soap and we should get a nice um, lemony fragrance from the blend of those three. Okay, I think I have everything ready now. I have my olive oil and my castor oil in here. To this, I am going to add my um, milk and yogurt. I prefer in most um, cases to put all my additives in with the oils before adding my lye solution. That way I know everything is really well blended in and I haven't forgotten anything. I don't do that if I'm um, doing a multicoloured soap with maybe a floral um, or a fragrance that I know will accelerate. Um, but most of the time that's what I find works best for me. So that's my milk, my yogurt. Um, my kaling clay. I'm hoping this um, will also help to anchor the scent. So put one, two... No, 
essential oils. essential oils and my um, my melted hard oils that I've got the lemon zest in so this is all melted down my lemon zest in there just going to pour that in with this I'm wanting this to be just um, a little bit exfoliating. Not, I don't want it to be rough. So I've used lemon, um, fresh lemon zest in soaps before, and it's um, quite nice. It's not too rough. Now I'll give all that a buzz. <laughs> My lye and lemon juice and tuss of silk is all at room temperature. The tusser didn't completely dissolve, so there will be a little bit in the um, sieve after I've put this in. I don't know why that is, but for some reason when it's with lemon juice, it doesn't completely dissolve like it does um, when it's with water. See the colour of that? It was a bright orange, it's sort of gone back to um, a bit more of a yellow now. Now we'll see what happens. Beautiful colour. I do hope the colour holds. I wasn't sure if I was going to need to add some colour, but um, if it stays like that, it's going to be beautiful. Okay. I really really like the colour of this. I hope that the colour holds. That's all I am putting in there. My big mould again. Break the last bit out. You see that colour? Gorgeous yellow, yellowy orange colour. Mm. 
very last bit out. I can't wait for this soap to cure. I think it's going to be a really, really nice soap. Right, my edges. Need a little tap. Um, bring you down and show you. Not um, there's a lot to see, but you can see the colour. That's really nice. There's with the lemons in the background. It's gorgeous. I've got a market tomorrow so this will be something for me to look forward to coming home to unmold and cut. So I'll bring you back for that. Okay so we're back to cut this lemon soup. It's still yellow, although not as vibrant as when I made it. So I'm not sure how how much colour it might lose as it cures. I guess we'll find out. I should turn you around a little bit. There you go. Little speckles of um, lemon zest in there. So it's still a nice yellow. It smells really lemony. I really hope that it does retain the scent. I'm hoping with the oil blend that I chose, it will um, keep its scent, as well as adding that kaolin clay to help hold on to it. Not much to see. The little bits of lemon zest are going a little bit um, orangey colour. If you can see them in there. See how that goes as it cures as well. And thank you very much for watching again. I'll put the photos up after this video.